Hello, welcome to jdeveloper02pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this uh, tutorial, I'll provide introduction to jdeveloper. First, we'll talk about Java. Then, we'll talk about Java IDEs, Integrated Development Environments. And then, we'll talk about jdeveloper. Java is a pro programming language developed by Sun Microsystems in 1995. The syntax of Java is very much similar to C++. On the left hand side you can see a C++ program. On the right hand side you can see a Java program. Syntax is very much similar. However, Java has much simpler object model and fewer low level facilities. C++ can talk directly to hardware. Uh, Java is much simpler to write however. When you write a Java program, first it's converted into byte code. The byte code is then processed by Java Virtual Machine, which is a compiler for Java. Why Sun has implemented uh, Java processing this way, there's a reason for that. Sun wanted to achieve platform independence. Okay? So for example, we have operating system 1 here. Let's assume this is Windows. We have another operating system 2 here. Let's assume this is Linux. So you will first install Java Virtual Machine for Windows on Windows and Java Virtual Machine or JVM for Linux on Linux. Okay, So JVMs are in platform dependent. Now when you write Java program it's converted into same byte code and this sim same byte code will be processed exactly the same way by these two JVMs. The JVMs take the whole burden on themselves of operating system being different from each other but the byte code is processed the same way so when you write this Java program you you will write it similar fashion no, no matter what operating system you're using because this byte code is guaranteed to be executed same way on as on any operating system okay so most Java programs are can be divided into two categories however there are other types as well Java applets and enterprise Java beans Java applets are basically client Java applications, secure Java application running within your browser. So JVM is inside your browser and that's running your uh, Java virtual machine. Uh, that's running your Java applet. Okay, and when Java came into being, Java applet suddenly became very popular and the fat kind of died with the passage of time and the future of Java was in question. Then suddenly, uh, Enterprise Java Beans became popular. Enterprise Java Beans is mainly uh, is is mainly an implementation of how you want to write server side java programming so server side java programming become very popular and enterprise java beans are the main reason for java being so successful and all these java ides or integrated development environments uh, being uh, so popular these days okay so uh, enterprise java beans provide uh, managed server side component architecture okay now you can think of Enterprise Java Beans as taking all the burden from programmer, uh, uh, taking out the burden from programmer related to uh, persistence, transaction integrity, and security, so that programmer can focus on uh, the problem at hand. Okay. So, having said that, when Java came into being, most of the Java programs were written in simple text editors like Notepad. Notepad is very par is, uh, particular to Windows, but Notepad means any text editor, no matter what operating system you're using. So that was the first era. You would write uh, Java program in a simple editor. You save the program and you will pass the program to Java compiler and it will run. Then the next era was s smart editors. These smart ed editors would provide colors to your program by uh, you know, uh, changing colors of different keywords so that they're easy to read. They also intend if-then conditions, etc., etc. So the whole purpose was uh, to make your program easy to read. Okay, and finally, uh, the last generation was this modern integrated development environments. Okay, so IDEs are basically one-stop shop for all development requirements. They not only provide smart editors, uh, they also integrate well with the compiler and application server because once the Java program is ready it can be sent over to the application server so that it could run under the umbrella of the application server. So these modern IDEs they provide color coded editors and also very powerful debugging features. All right. So popular IDEs these days are Eclipse, NetBeans and uh, the J developer is from Oracle, Sun Java is from Sun J developer J builder is from Borland and IBM has called WSAD WebSphere Studio application developer. So all these vendor specific uh, 
and integrated development environments are known to be well integrated with other products from the vendor. For example, J Developer integrates well with Oracle Database and Oracle eBusiness Suite, and uh, etc. etc. Okay, so let's talk about J Developer. J Developer became free in 2005. It's a free IDE from Oracle. So what's very powerful about it? It's 100% written in Java. If, if it's 100% written in Java, then of course it means it's platform independent. It's a complete rewrite of previous version. Previous version couldn't claim this uh, uh, being written in 100% Java. Okay, so it's platform independent. You can run run it on Windows, Solaris, Linux, wherever the, there's a JVM, it could be run. Now there is uh, something called application development framework. It's framework produced by Oracle. The whole purpose of this framework is to make the development process easy. So it's more of a visual based drag and drop kind of development and J Developer supports uh, supports ADF or application development framework. Okay, And uh, one thing that people don't know about J Developer is uh, it's a complete tool for all stages of of the project. Usually it's perceived as only a development uh, development tool. It provides tools for design, uh, modeling, coding, debugging, testing, profiling, etc. Uh, etc. Et okay, so it's a complete uh, tool for all stages of, of the project. It also supports UML, Unified Modeling Language. So when you write Java program, you have to design your classes first and UML language is, is used to, uh, uh, to uh, do the modeling for your uh, class design. Okay, so J Developer supports supports that as well. One another misconception about J Developer is that people think it's only for Java programming. You can do SQL, PLSQL programming in in in, Java, in J Developer as well. PLSQL is procedural language extension to SQL from Oracle. You can also write XML code in J Developer. One very neat feature of J Developer is, uh, is the code quality tools. It not only suggests if you write a wrong code, not only provides very intelligent suggestions, it also fixes your errors. Okay, and most of the uh, things you can do in J Developer are wizard based. For example, you can create wizard based uh, Java Beans okay, for server side programming, and it has built in features. To incorporate, if you want to use web services, like these days applications talk to each other through web services. So if you want to incorporate that feature in your application, it uh, it does provide support for that as well. So the coding becomes very easy. Okay, and there's so many open source tools are available these days for Java programmers like Ant, JUnit, Cactus, etc. And uh, if you are doing programming, Java programming in J Developer, you can take advantage of any of the open source tools that are coming out. And you can also customize your J Developer, okay, uh, by using the extensions. Uh, if you want to, uh, you know, modify some of the features, you can do that easily, okay. So this was a quick introduction of J Developer. In coming tutorials, uh, we will learn how to do Java programming in J Developer. Okay, I see you in next tutorial.